Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, lifestyle, and Bible. So today I have for you guys my morning quarantine routine. And obviously the first thing I do when I wake up is I kind of just lay in the bed, usually woken up by one of my kids. And so then King comes in and I just roll around and love on him for a little bit. So it never fails. Every morning I wake up, the first thing I have to do is kind of get myself out of the bed. But before that, I just kind of sit at the edge of the bed. Like, I don't know about you guys, but do your feet ever just hurt when you first wake up? So I do use two kinds of toothpaste whenever I brush my teeth. And then this day I had to go in and exfoliate because I hadn't exfoliated in a while. So the face wash I use is the Neutrogena Hydrating Face Wash. And I use that with my PMD. And I just go ahead and wash my face. And usually on the mornings where I do two workouts a day, I don't do my morning skincare. So I'll just go in and wash my face and then I'll go in with my toner. And the reason I put on my robe is because while I'm doing my morning routine, if anybody happens to come to the door or anything, I really do want to be covered up. And also I will fix my hair just so that way I look a little bit more decent throughout before I start working out and getting myself together. So after that, I go to go ahead and go into my room and I open the blinds and then of course I start fixing my bed. If, the, if you fix your bed first thing in the morning, it helps you be, be so much more productive with your day because you don't have that want to go and mess up your bed and get back into it. So after fixing my bed, I do go around my room and I just go ahead and start cleaning up any little messes that I have around the room and just hanging up some clothes that needs to be hung up because on Mondays I do do laundry. So that's probably like the only day that's really thrown off because it is laundry day. So once I'm done with my room, I, of course I head to the boys' room, open their blinds, start fixing their beds, and also just picking out their clothes for the day, and then we'll all go back to my room and get dressed. And this morning I actually didn't know Ethan was still asleep when I got in the room. He kind of scared me when I opened the blinds. So another thing I do in the boys' room first thing in the morning is I will go ahead and start diffusing some essential oils. I do a blend for their allergies just because allergies have been super crazy and we can't risk allergies with everything that's going on in the world. And then after that, we do go ahead and go back to my room. And like I said, we start getting dressed and just start getting ready for the day. Of course, I change into my workout clothes before I change out into my daily clothing, I guess you could say. So once I'm done in my bedroom, I do go ahead and go around the house and then it's time to start opening the blinds and straightening up the guest room because Brian tends to just throw stuff everywhere in here. And so it's just time to straighten up that room. Then of course head to the living area and the kitchen area and start opening up those blinds. And then I kind of got to deal with the kids, find the remote and all kinds of sorts of crazy stuff before I'm able to actually get my day started and get the boys breakfast. So one thing I noticed, or I remembered in the middle of doing everything in the living room that I needed to start laundry. So I went to the boys room really fast and grabbed their basket and started their laundry first. And then I did go ahead and head to my room and then I started sorting out our laundry. And then I took, of course separated the laundry and then I took it all to the hallway just to get it ready so that way once one load is done I could just, you know, put them in back to back and switch them. And then after that, you know, just kind of, it was time for breakfast. So 
once I got to the kitchen, I realized that the boys' plates that I usually serve them breakfast on and that they use for the day were dirty. So I did go ahead and start dishes this morning. It wasn't very much because it was just their plates that we usually put their dinner on from whenever we eat out in a few cups. So I did go ahead and just do dishes really fast before I started breakfast and put away the dishes that had already been done. Okay guys, so the rest of this video will actually have sound. So now that I've cleaned, started the laundry, got the boys dressed and all that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and get start their breakfast. They always have breakfast around 10 o'clock and that's exactly what time it is now. I don't usually have to do dishes in the morning because I do them at nighttime. But since we had been eating out, we really just had like some cups and plates from where we would split up the boys' food from eating out because that's what we do we, we, we'll just buy the boys um like an adult meal and then we'll split it between them so now what i'm gonna do what i give them for breakfast every day is usually some type of grain and a fruit so whether it be granola and yogurt or a fr uh, fruit and a waffle or french toast or fruit and cereal that's what they have every day so today they're going to have a piece of french toast and a cutie so this is the french toast that i'm always talking about and i know it's probably like not the healthiest thing for them but it gets the job done and then the fruit and the reason why i started narrowing back on this type of stuff is because people are going crazy like buying it out so i was like what people aren't buying out though is like fruits and vegetables so i was like you know what i can narrow it down on this so you just eat like two to three pieces of this for breakfast so now they only get this and then fruit and then if they're hungry they'll get another piece of fruit because fruit is so easy to find right now so that's just what we've been doing is loading up on like fruits and veggies or like string cheese they can get a piece of string cheese instead of another piece of fruit just to make sure that they're full So now while they're eating, I will go ahead and go work out. I didn't show you guys, but before I started like sorting out the laundry and getting the boys dressed, I do take my supplements. So I take a thermogenic and a CLA plus um, carnitine, I think it's pronounced. So this is what I take. And I'm just somebody, I have a really hard time at sweating. So these are just, these help me really, really get a good workout and sweat going on. The serving size for this is two, but I only take one for my morning workout and then one for my nighttime workout because yeah. We'll go ahead and go to the room and start working out.
Okay, yeah, so I just finished working out and then I switched loads of laundry. I really need to throw trash, but Bryson's freaking out. King is freaking out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my morning skincare and then I'm going to go ahead and sit down with the boys and do learning time. So for learning time today, I did, Ethan worked on his handwriting. He worked on his letter A's and then he worked on writing his numbers. And then for the younger two, we just sung our ABCs to make sure we knew the order of our ABCs and then... I did go ahead and go over with Bryson recognizing letters and then after they were done with their work we did go ahead and read a couple of books. We did that for about 40 minutes, which is typical for my children's like span of attention. And so, yeah, they're going to play right now. I'm going to go do my Bible study and then I'll get myself decent and then I'll get back with you guys for dinner. So once Brian got home, we actually just sat around for a little bit and then we talked about how our days went. And then he was like, hey, you want to play a couple rounds of Skipbo? This did not end well because we're both very competitive. But yeah, we did have some fun playing a few rounds of Skipbo just to pass time. So I always almost forget that I'm vlogging. <laughs> but it is now about 7, 6, 7 o'clock. So what I'm going to do now is my nighttime workout. And then, so that'll be 30 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and start dinner so yeah i'm gonna do a 30 minute workout right now hopefully it's not too intense so no one said any coming so it might be a little bit intense so let's go ahead and get that started So I thought I recorded my entire workout. I didn't. So now 
we're gonna go cook dinner. And I'm making vegetarian dinner tonight. So let's get to it. So I did wanna go ahead and share with you guys what I made for dinner. So this is what you'll need. You'll need a can of black beans and then you'll need some jasmine rice. You'll need a can of enchilada sauce, your preference. I actually ended up using green enchilada sauce and red enchilada sauce. And then I got some tomatoes, some bell peppers. I was gonna use green onions, but they were frozen. And then I used a regular onion. And then of course, just your seasonings of your choice. I was making Spanish rice, so I did use some sazon and then some chicken. I don't know what it's called. It's like a little cube and you find it in the Spanish section of supermarkets and so I did use that to season my rice as well and then of course I have some avocados and then I don't show it in here but I used some lemon with uh, the avocados Okay, so for the cooking process, the first thing I did was I diced up my onion and then I diced up my tomatoes because those were going to cook with the rice and I always start the rice first because that's usually what takes the longest and is the longest process. So of course, dice your tomatoes and dice your onions and any other vegetables that you're going to want to cook with your rice before you actually start your rice. this around until the rice is kind of brown and on the side I do already have two cups of really really hot water that will be your trick with cooking rice so that way it doesn't cool down is always have your water at the highest temperature and be ready to add water just in case your rice isn't soft enough I've learned with cooking rice usually if you cover the rice just a little bit and go above the rice just a little bit that's usually the perfect amount of water but today, since I was adding so many ingredients, I did go ahead and have to add, I think about three and a half cups of water. So yeah, I'm just adding the water. And then after that, I start throwing in my ingredients. So then I throw in the tomatoes, the black, the black beans, and then the corn, as well as all of my seasonings. So once you have all of your, season, your seasonings and ingredients adding, added into your rice, you're gonna just let it boil. You're not gonna touch it. You might stir it like one or two times throughout this process, but you don't wanna stir it too much because that's how you get soggy, mushy rice. If you want the fluffy rice, you kinda just let it boil. And what I usually do is like it gets kind of foamy over the top sometimes. And so once I see that foam over the top, that's when I'll go in and stir. Other than that, I really do not touch the rice.
So once the rice is get, has started cooking, the next thing I do is I go and prepare my ingredients for the meat, even though it's vegetarian meat. Um, so what I do is I do go ahead and cut up and dice the bell peppers and I'll throw that in a pan with a little bit of oil I'll let that cook a little bit and then I will go ahead and throw the Garden meat into the pan and I'll add a little bit of water and I'll let that boil just a little bit like very little water Maybe like one-fourth of a cup and then I will add all of my seasonings to the meat George got full in the middle of me cooking the meat But all I did was cook the bell pepper and then I added the meat seasoned that and then I layered them in these pots. Let me see, you can probably see this one better. I got the rice at the bottom, the meat on the top, and then I put red sauce on this one, and then I put green sauce on this one. This can be a really easy vegan meal if you just switch out the cheese for vegan cheese. And then I'm gonna top it with some avocado that I just seasoned a little bit and with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and lemon juice. And that's what I will top it with. Hey guys, so I completely forgot to end last night's vlog. But after we ate dinner, I cleaned the house. I sanitized everything. And then I took a shower and went to bed. So yeah, that's how my night ended after dinner. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button. And let me know what else you guys want to see. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.